here are the Instagram artwork dimensions for 2023 and how to create and export these files in Photoshop. So let's start with the profile photo. The profile photo will be in a one to one ratio and it will be scaled up or down to 320 by 320 pixels. So make sure your file is at least 320 by 320 in size. Another thing to consider with the profile photo is that it will be put into a circle. So when designing the artwork in a square, make sure that any key information or text you want to include falls within the circle and isn't too close to the edge of the square. Next, if you create an Instagram square artwork, Instagram will generally scale everything up or down to a width and height of 1080 by 1080. So with the square, you're working with a one to one ratio. So obviously your file can be larger than this, but make sure the width and the height are the same. When designing your artwork, I recommend working to either a 72 PPI resolution, which is standard for web, or 96 to 150 PPI. And I will explain this more a little later in the video, so stick around. Next, if you're designing Instagram landscape artwork for the feed or for ads, try to design your artwork to the optimized dimensions of 1080 pixels by 566 pixels, which is roughly working to a ratio of four to five. Obviously you can upload files with dimensions smaller or larger than this, but Instagram will crop this artwork between a ratio of 1.91 to one all the way up to four to five if your dimensions are way off. So try to stick to 1080 by 566 to make your life easier. Next, if you design an IG portrait artwork, try to design to 1080 pixels by 1350 pixels in height. Same rules apply to IG landscape. You're working with a ratio of 1.91 to one or four to five. And if you upload a file that is drastically off from these dimensions, Instagram is going to crop that artwork accordingly. So try to remain within these dimensions as best you can. And lastly, if you're designing for reels or stories, you want to design to a width of 1080 pixels and a height of 1920 pixels, which is a ratio of 9 to 60, the portrait of a widescreen. Naturally, if you're just using video, you don't need to worry about any of this PPI. But if you are using images, maybe you're doing a slideshow, maybe you're exporting graphics to use in a Reels or Story, the PPI resolution will then apply. As mentioned earlier in the video, I'm going to quickly talk about the PPI and why it's something you need to consider. So historically, 72 PPI is the standard that was set for web artwork. This gives you a good quality of image while keeping the file size down. However, today, when you consider now many of the devices and the resolutions they use, you've got things like Retina Display, most videos now can shoot in 4K, and the new iPhones that have been released have a display resolution of 460 PPI. So this is something you will need to consider when exporting your artwork. If you're just using simple texts and colors and graphics, 72 is absolutely fine. But if you are working with high quality imagery and you want a crisp definition, and that is an important part of the artwork you're putting together with the video or imagery you're using, you might want to consider setting your resolution to 96 or even as high as 150 PPI so that you keep some of that quality resolution, especially for someone who's viewing it, say, on a screen with 460 PPI. So when you're ready to set up your artwork in Photoshop, open Photoshop and simply come to File, New, Set your width and height accordingly, so I'll use 1080 by 920. Make sure you're set in pixels, make sure your resolution is set in pixels to inch, and then decide then on your resolution, 72, 96, 150. I've been using 96 for my artwork. Your color mode is RGB color is absolutely fine because it's for web, and once you're happy, simply click Create. Once you've created your artwork and you're ready to export, come to File, Export, Export As. Instagram will accept both PNG and JPEG, so decide which one you'd like. I'm gonna go with JPEG. You can keep the width and height exactly as they are. Add copyright and contact info metadata if you'd like to. And you can either convert your color profile to a web RGB, or if you wanna keep the colors as close to the original as possible, you can try to embed the color profile, which will export the colors as close to the originals as possible. And once you're ready, simply click export, and your artwork will be ready to upload to Instagram. So there you have it. Those are the dimensions you need to create quality, optimized Instagram artwork in 2023. We also covered some resolution options for you and how to set up that artwork and export it accordingly for Instagram. Remember the goal with artwork for the web is to find that balance between keeping the quality high, but also keeping the file size low. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial.